Well, it's uh, still February 6th, and I said February this time. February 6th, 2024. It's 7 p.m., and I just came out to see what was happening on this fire. I'm gonna rake the coals up a little bit more. Oh, wait, I gotta get a shovel. Yeah, because the pitchfork won't do. I'll get a, I, I can hardly see, but uh, I'm still gonna record it. Well, I can't see much except for the fire part, but uh, I, I stirred up the coals. You can see my finger. Stirred up the coals all along, and that's the that's the, the log that's in there. It's it's right there. The log is still there. Uh, that's the other end. The other end is over that way. The big end is there, and it goes all the way across. To there so all I can do is throw the coals up a little bit higher up on the log to make sure it keeps burning. Uh, I got a feeling there's still gonna be some log left uh, by tomorrow morning uh, but uh, I'll just I want to push the, all the coals up on top of the log to help it burn. Well that's the best I can do. The log is right goes from that end that's the big end over here where my finger is on the left side goes all the way across the middle of those coals and then the other smaller end is over there I did what I could uh, I can still see the log there it's, I didn't even get it covered very good cause it, but there's some on both sides of the log and mostly of it down here on the bottom so whatever burns burns whatever don't burn I'll just uh, take it somewhere and uh, <laughs> burn it some other day on a different fire okay that's all I wanted to show I'll put this on I'll put this on tomorrow's video uh, when I feed hay I'll be I'll begin it with this uh, even though it's the, today still the sixth it'll be on the tomorrow's video on February 7th uh, uh, okay well it's, I, uh, now I now I know now I know better to don't don't leave a big log like that. I should have cut it up at, at least into two pieces. Three pieces would have even been better. It would have burnt better. Yeah. Oh well, that's my fault. Live and learn. All right. That's all for now. Uh, I'll catch you tomorrow on the next one. Well. There's, there's my house at night uh, and uh, that's the fire that I just stoked so hopefully keep it going well, I just felt like getting a side view from the side yeah <laughs> yeah that's a it's still pretty hot but and I can still see some pieces, uh, a whole pieces of log right here. Uh, I think one of them is there, and the other one is over there. They're on the very end. They're sticking out. I didn't have enough coals to cover them all up. It's from the other end, and uh, you can see the log right there. It's real good. You can see the log real good here. It's surrounded by coals, but I got a feeling these ends, these. These ends on both ends, at least those will be left. Maybe some in the middle too. All depends on how long the coals will keep burning the log. We'll see. Uh, I expect to have some of it left. But that's, pretty, that's better than uh, expected. I, I just didn't realize that big log was going to take so long to burn. So hard to burn. Probably because it's still green. That's probably why. Okay, that's all for now. I'll catch you tomorrow on the next one. But I'm going to add this to it. Uh, today, today is February. Yeah, it's February 7th, 2024. And it's about 7.45 a.m. Temperature is 30 degrees again. Uh, what the sun's sun shining today? A little overcast, but uh, at least the sun's shining. 
Uh, and uh, I'm gonna go down there and check what left of my fire that I made yesterday. Okay, and then later today I'm gonna feed hay to the cattle. I'll probably feed one of those bales. Yeah, one of those. And then I'm gonna move the other one up to here. Yeah, yeah. Cause I might wanna, I might, I'm thinking about burning that brush along there. Okay, we'll see. See what happens. I still got some oil, uh, fuel mixture uh, left over. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna go check the fire now. And you know, prepare for feeding hay again today. All right, uh, I'll catch you later. Huh. There's my shadow again. It's about 7.50 a.m. now. And I'm working my way, walking my way toward that fire around the corner. Oh, the cat's on my leg again. Okay. Let's uh, keep going. Ouch, cat. There's the sun. All right. Sun's up. A little cloudy, but not bad. I think the wind's from the southeast today. Yeah, wind's from the south southeast. Should warm up then. All right, let's go to the fire. Well, that's what's left of the fire. I didn't stir it up yet. I'm gonna see if there's any coals left. If there's any coals, I'll rack them. I'll pot, make them in a pile, and. Uh, Maybe they'll keep burning until there's nothing left. Okay. Just a view from the side, from the north side. Yeah, that's the view from the north side. That's the view from the south side. I hear a goose. Oh, at least that big log is burned up. There's a few coals left. And some a few sticks that were buried underneath. But anyway, I got it piled up. It should burn out now. Whatever's left won't matter. It'll wash away in the good rain. But it's warm too. Oh, yeah, I can feel the heat. Uh, yeah, it's still got some heat in it. Yeah. Uh, at least this job is done. Yeah, I got it all cleaned up. Okay, let me. I I found a few uh, leaves. I'm gonna throw them on there. <laughs> yeah, it's cooking now. Still cooking. Burned all night. Burnt that big log up. Oh yeah, I can smell the cedar. Mmm, smells good. Yeah, it smells good. Yeah. Okay, well, that's enough for this job. I'm gonna go back in the house. Still, still cold with the red tractor. So I'll, uh, I'll wait till it warms up to at least 40. Okay, I'll catch you later. Well, it's 8 a.m. on February 7th, 2024. In my road ditch, Clearing is, tree clearing is completed. So, uh, today I'm feeding cattle. Yeah, at this time of the morning, everything's in the shadow of those big trees. Yeah, but I can still see a clear area. All I gotta do, I still have to move that uh, old moor, that uh, bush hog, out of the way because it's it's uh, in the way now. <laughs> it was hidden before and now it's exposed. Okay. Well, that's all for today on this. Not all for today, but uh, that's all for this project, I think. Uh, okay. I'm going to feed hay later today. So, uh, see you then. Bye. Well, 
it's after 3 p.m. right now. It's still uh, February 7, 2024. And uh, looks like the sun's trying to come out. It's been cloudy all most of the day. Sunny this morning and then cloudy and then now it's starting. Clouds are starting to thin and I can see the sun again. And it's warmer. I, I don't feel any wind or not much of a wind. There's a little south wind, but not very strong. And I'm done feeding hay. Just come, just got my tractor parked and I'm ready to put my white tubing on. Oh, and uh, the hay uh, took all the grease off, <laughs> smoothed it again. Now I'm gonna, there's probably some grease in this tube, so it's going to get some more grease on it. But not as much. Yeah. Main thing, it protects it from rusting. Because when it's rusty, it won't go in the bale very good. Not very good at all. Okay, so that's done. Okay, I'm, I'm done for moving hay bales today. Uh, okay, that's a uh, yeah, I want to be one of these days if I ever get around to it. I'm in no hurry. I'm gonna move that old bush hog over in here. Just to get it, just to get it out of that area, uh, it'll blend in better there. Okay, I'm gonna walk out to the, check the burning area. Well, this is my improvement today. Been working on since I guess sometime in December, I think, or maybe November. Yeah, I think November is when I cut the trees down, but then I let them lay there until. December 10, that's when I made my first burning. All I did was burn the, the leaves off the cedar trees that were in the ditch. And then on, uh, let's see, January 26th, I started cutting up the trees near the mailbox, halfway down, burnt, made a big burning pile, burned it. And then just last few days, I think it was, I think it was the 5th, maybe February 5th, I, uh, Cleaned up the second half, and uh, yesterday I burned a big brush pile that I created, and that's burnt down now. So everything's just about done here. Clean it up. All I can do is move that thing, move that out of the way. Didn't bother me before because uh, all those trees were blocking it, and a bunch of weeds. It was kind of hidden behind there, behind all the weeds and trees. But now. <laughs> Now it's just, uh, it, does, it seems like it doesn't belong there, so I'm going to move it. Okay, that's all. That's all for that. Uh, I think that'll be my next project. I got the males moved out of the way. So all I'm going to do is get my sprayer and a match. And I can burn up some of this stuff. Yeah, that's, yeah, I'll let it get too thick. It'll probably grow back, but I'll, at least I'll get it burnt off. And there's a couple trees. See, there's a tree in there, but I can't do nothing with the trees until I grow the Sharon in there, I think. Uh, grow the Sharon over here, too. That tall thing grows the Sharon. And another one there. Another one there. If, there, if I can burn this honeysuckle off and, leave, and the Rose of Sharon survive, I'll leave them. I like Rose of Sharon. I'll, I'll leave those. I think I cut one of them off already down there. Cause, oh no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do that. The uh, road people, the road people mowed here. The road people mowed here, and they, they wound up mowing that when it was growing down low. I'll burn some of this grass off too here. As long as it, I got to be careful that don't get too close to the fence. It'll, it'll melt those yellow things and. Uh, I might burn it all along here. Let's see how, see what, see what happens. Yeah, I'll leave the roses sharing, but I'll, uh, 
I want to burn the honeysuckle. I like honeysuckle. I don't mind it, but if it gets too thick like that, it's uh, I can't do nothing with it. Anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Do some more burning along here since I got some more fuel mixture. So you know, I gotta just make sure that the fire don't spread up the hill to the bales. That's the only thing I gotta keep an eye on. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm, I can burn most of that. It'll look nicer. Yeah, okay. 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 Now, well, since I'm walking, let me just keep walking backwards. I can't walk backwards very good. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna at least burn from this area up there, and uh, if I do that, then I'll then I'll burn this area here, depending on which way the wind's blowing. If it's blowing from the south, I'll start there and work my way this way. If it's blowing from the north, I'll start from there and work my way that way. Either way, I'll let the wind do the work. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I remember once, it wasn't long after I had the shed built. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Let's see. Do they have cattle here? Uh, I don't remember if I had cattle here or not. I had the shed built. And we brought the cattle the next year. Or actually, the, yeah. I had the shed built in the fall of 89. And, and then uh, spring of 1990, we brought the cattle here. So yeah, I had some cattle here. And uh, I think I had a fence there, and my neighbor, a neighbor, had a big brush pile down there, way down in the bottom. He still got another, he still got one. He made another one, but uh, he had one down there, and he burned it, and and the fire spread and uh, creeped up the hill, burnt all the leaves along the along that side of the, you know, down the, down the slope from the barn, and uh, he was out here. He was out here. We were taking a bucket of water from the pond here to put it out so it wouldn't it, Of course I had I think I had concrete there already. So I wasn't gonna go too far, but uh, It was it was burning along from those big trees down the hill. So he was out here trying to put it out And uh, we, we were helping him Yeah, yeah those things happen But we got it we got it under control it was just, just leaves anyway. That was a, uh, something I can remember. Long time ago, probably in the, sometime in the early 90s, I'd say, because it wasn't too long after we built the sh shed there that that happened. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm done for today, so. <laughs> Look at that sun. Oh, it got bright. Feels good now. Yeah, we're still from the south, but it feels good. Feels good. Sun's done good. Yeah. Nice to see the sun out. Anything over 40 degrees, maybe the grass will start growing. But then it gets cold at night. Got down to 30 this morning again. Okay. Yeah, I want to burn this. Without burning everything else up. Just this. Just the side of this hill, and the honeysuckle, and maybe some of this grass in the ditch, just to clean it up. Since I got the other side clean, I might as well match it to this side, or not match it, match this side to that side a little better. Yeah, you know, have to clean all those morning glories off. That I need to prune those grapes anyway before spring. Okay. Like I said, I'll be burning this one of these days. Got no end. I'll figure it out. One step at a time. One project at a time. Ah. Okay. That's all for today. Ah. Well. Set up set about 5:15 today. 
as I say, it's just after 3 p.m. Oh, there's some smoke right over. I can't see. Right, right, to, right. This is the left side of that big tree. Way back there, the neighbors must be burning something. There's the big tree, and just to the left of it is that. There's some smoke way back there on the other side of that cornfield. Uh, they're probably clearing some brush or cutting firewood. Uh, anyway, sun goes down. I, I forgot. <laughs> I watched it last night. Uh, somewhere in there. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot where. Anyway, somewhere in that, somewhere in that section, I think. Anyway. That's all for now. Uh, it's been a good day. It's ending, it's ending pretty good too. I'll probably come out later. Try to catch the sunset at 5:15. At least, at least through those trees. It actually sets later than that, but uh, the time it gets down in those trees, it sets earlier, uh, or out of sight anyway. Around 5:15 here. Okay. I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Bye.